In 16 communities across Chicago, the Local Initiative Support Corporation, in partnership with 14 community-based agencies, is leading the nation's largest commitment to comprehensive community development. Over the course of 10 years, each neighborhood creates projects and partnerships to address its priority issues. One neighborhood on the southwest side, Little Village, is home to a number of young Latino families. From our understanding of the New Communities uh, program, we felt that if we could be selected, that there was tremendous promise of resources. That's what we need. If Little Village is going to become a better place for all the people that live here, they wanted to know if we had vision, if we had conviction and commitment, and most importantly, they wanted to know what capacity we had and what capacity we didn't have. Our director of New Communities Program, Jaime de Leon, came around during the fight for the high school. People were tired of the lack of progress. And after the hunger strike, I went back to him and I said, so what are you going to do now? When we became an NCP program, I was kind of skeptical of it. I was like, what is this? Who is Lisk? Who is MacArthur? Are they just going to come in and tell us what to do in our community? It's quite the opposite. They don't dictate how or what we should plan for our community. They're there as, as a resource. And now I think, you know, it's, it's great. All these neighborhoods had an opportunity to go through a quality of life planning process, define what the boundaries of their neighborhoods are and what those neighborhood needs are and how they'd like it to be five to 10 years from now. Not just from a physical level, but also looking at the social and economic dimensions of that neighborhood. So that plan helps guide and serve as a blueprint for investment. Little Village is a landlocked community. They have um, the least amount of green space per capita in the city of Chicago and yet the youngest population. It is the local park. This is the one most folks in Little Village come to, but it's, you know, it's really pushed up against one side of the neighborhood, which is the west side. So a lot of the kids on the east side can't come because of gang boundaries. This is the site of the old Washburn Trade School that closed down about 17 years ago. We decided to focus on, you know, getting it torn down. We have to find ways to, to finance maybe some affordable housing and then some recreational space in the same building. And then use the rest of the land as just open green space, so additional park space. It takes more than bricks and mortar to build a community. Buenas tardes, good afternoon. My name is Julian Lasalde. I am the NCP organizer for LVCDC, Little Village Community Development Corporation. So I want to welcome you formally. But Recently, there was a Hoops in the Hood technical assistance workshop. There were 11 neighborhoods in total represented to learn about creative ways to bring communities together. As one of those uh, people who founded the, uh, the Resurrection Basketball League back in 1999, Never in my wildest dreams did I, you know, could I imagine this growing beyond the boundaries of Pilsen. You know, everybody says, let's take the kids off the street. But our approach was, no, let's put the kids on the street. Let's take the bad stuff off of the street. What LVCDC was able to do was take this model and enhance it. They were able to bring other elements to the table that would invite additional residents to the project the health component, certainly, and the arts component, which has been a huge enhancement to the program. My question to, to everyone in the room is, you know, what, what's your vision for this? You know, yes. I have a question about competition. Mm -hmm. On the south side, southeast side, we have a lot of people play basketball all the time. So did you all have any issues with that? With competition? Right, with other leagues or AAU basketball. If I can say right? something. Yeah. But as a basketball player, there's nothing better than actually playing in a gym. I mean, there's nothing great about playing on an oil slick street. Not the ideal basketball situation. But there's something very powerful about a community using community space in a very community-oriented way. You know, you talk to the guys, you talk to the kids, they know who runs the streets. And there's nothing more powerful than having a community saying, these are our streets. I saw the goodness that come from that. 
-hmm. when they came on 22nd and Avers, and when Little Village came on 22nd and Avers, and to see African Americans and Mexicans come together, it, it, was, it was a good thing to see. One of the reasons LISC and NCP were attracted to Be on the Block and RBL was the acknowledgement that sports can be a versatile tool to address a broad range of community development goals, as have all been discussed today. Public safety, um, utilizing public spaces, emergence of new leaders. West Haven this year launched the West Haven Baseball Club. Humble Park did bigger bikes and have been doing it for now four or five years. We've been doing this with nickels and dimes. So it encourages the deepening of relationships that you have or the establishing new ones. Think about your vision, think about your partners that are available, and then come back to LISC. Give us a call, you know how it works. There's no formal proposal. Just give us a call, call your program officer. If you're not in LISC, uh, the NCP network, call me. Did you have police? Um, this program has given workshop. some of our newer organizations and some of our veteran organizations an opportunity to come together and learn from each other. Relationships are the critical factor of this program. Education is just critical in this neighborhood. It's about whether or not our kids are going to have a shot at, at some level of success in life. The community schools program is active in several of the new communities' neighborhoods, Logan Square, Chicago Lawn, and, and then certainly Little Village. Everything is about relationships. Everything is about building partnerships. We're working with Illinois State University, Malcolm X College. We work with uh, Programa Cielo, with people that do workshops in nutrition, in health. In Little Village, Sitka was a critical partner in bringing a school-based health clinic to the Little Village Lawndale High School. The Little Village Community Development Corporation recently obtained a $400,000 startup grant from Sitco Petroleum Corporation and partnered with the Alivio Medical Network. And once we move forward, it will become more and more looking at sustainability for Alivio to be able to, to maintain the site here. Leveraging is probably our middle name. A lot of times outside entities will come to LISC saying, you know, I really want to invest in Auburn Gresham or I really want to figure out Inglewood. Can you give me a starting point? The city of Chicago has been a critical partner. Well, obviously, MacArthur Foundation, but we've had other partners from the Joyce Foundation, uh, Chicago Community Trust, State Farm, um, other banks um, and lenders who've really made a difference by investing in us directly or even more importantly, investing in our partners directly. Our scribes are sort of another set of eyes and ears documenting what's going on and our photography has played an incredibly important role capturing the images and sort of change over time of our neighborhoods. And we've now seen a new generation, a younger generation, uh, coming into the field through the New Communities Program. Folks who are really emerging as strong leaders in their neighborhoods and in the field. You feel supported, you feel like, oh, you know, so-and-so knows what I'm going through. Maybe we can have lunch and see how they handled it. We do have flexibility with the resources, and there is time. The MacArthur Foundation has committed to these neighborhoods, not for one to two years, but for 10 years. A healthy neighborhood in Chicago is a stable, diverse neighborhood. If we end up with that kind of characterization in most of our neighborhoods, I think we can be satisfied that the funds and the effort that we put into this have been worthwhile.